Well, howdy do everyone and welcome back to the ranch. It's good to have you here today. I thank you so much for stopping by. You know, it means so much to me. So thanks for being here. I hope everything's going good in your neck of the woods. Everything here is cruising along pretty good. We're really enjoying the new autumn weather we've had for a few days now. It seems the first day of autumn brought in the first really, really nice day we've had in a long, long time. We went from 95 and 96 in the afternoons and you know maybe 73 or 4 in the mornings to the highs now in the low 80s and, and it was 52 degrees here this morning so we are really enjoying that. I hope you guys are enjoying your weather and as I always say I hope the world's treating you quite well too. Anyway, thanks again for being here. And out here on the ranch, it seems all the white-tailed deer are doing very, very well. The does are recovering from their pregnancies and the subsequent nursing, though some children proved difficult to wean, if you know what I mean. Uh, the babies, most of them are losing their spots, some a little bit more than others. Some are completely gone. Some are kind of in that transitional phase, and then some are still wearing their complete Bambi camo, as you can see here. The bucks, well, they're showing off their new antlers. A lot of them still have a little bit of velvet, while others are already completely hardened. But as a whole, it looks like the white-tailed deer are all looking great, thanks to a very mild and wet summer and a lot of lush green grass and uh, also a lot of lush pink grass as well. And our lonely axis deer, old Mr. Unicorn, uh, still is hanging around. We haven't seen the younger buck or the doe in weeks, so it looks like our herd of axis deer went from about 25 down to maybe one in, uh, in one freeze. So that was a, a terrible, terrible thing. We sure lost a lot of deer in that terribly cold ordeal. But Mother Nature always seems to have a way of restoring balance, so hopefully the herds will be back in the near future. And after culling some pretty darn sick coyotes, the ones that were suffering with mange and subsequent secondary infections from those, uh, the total numbers are now what I would consider controllable, manageable, and uh, we still see quite a few coyotes running the place. Uh, common, to the game cameras pick them up, carrying their dinner home to the, the pups. The pups should all be getting about ready to leave the dens right now. So hopefully we can catch some, some cute little coyote pups out here. But uh, nevertheless, we've got those numbers down to a tolerable level, finally. And thanks to Operator Drewski and some of his buddies, these guys' numbers have come down greatly too. And instead of seeing them in big groups or sounders for the purist, we are now seeing them in ones and twos and threes. And the frequency of them showing up on the game camera is greatly reduced as well. So, so anyway, it looks like our hog problem as well as our coyote problems are both in good shape. Uh, as far as the hogs are concerned, that will last about six months and we'll be right back where we were six months ago. So I suppose that's just going to be one of those plagues we're cursed with forever. And here's our old buddy, the ringtail cat. He's making more appearances now than ever. I guess probably the cooler summer had him a little bit more active than normal. But anyway, the little dudes, uh, they're always moving fast. They do not linger very long for selfies. But anyway, good to see him again. Good to see that he's healthy. Um, I always worry about him because I only see that one ringtail cat, and he's usually in the same place all the time. So I, I would really like to see him with another one or some babies or something like that so we could feel better about his future. And the gray foxes are becoming more and more numerous around the ranch these days. They're, that's one species I really, really like to watch. They're pretty interesting. Um, they mate for life and their babies, uh, the females tend to stay around the place where they were born. The males disperse uh, up to 50 miles away, but the females usually hold pretty closely. So I guess we just had a bunch of females hanging tight over the last few years to the extent that we have a lot of gray foxes now. But um, they're, interesting facts about them, they're, they're the only fox that has 
oval pupils in their eyes. All the rest of them have slits. And uh, most of them, you know, just like, and most of them, just like all the other foxes, they eat rodents and vegetation and pizza. Uh, every, now th every now and then I'll throw a little pizza in the old hog trap and you can see the foxes go in and get it first. But uh, uh, sadly, one of our little female foxes that we catch on camera all the time, she's got an injury in one of her front legs. You can see her here limping around in uh, a lot of videos, but it looks like she's damaged the radial nerve which is the same thing as what we have in our body. We have a radial nerve that goes down our arms. But uh, radial nerve is responsible for her being able to, the, to extend that limb, and you can see she can't. But on the whole, she seems to manage quite well. But it does seem to hamper her effort somewhat on pizza night. And in this next clip, you'll see a lone bandit who's broken into a local pizzeria with our little crippled fox friend looking on. But just like so many dumb crooks, he came in and stole so much pepperoni pizza, now he can't even squeeze through the bars to make his escape. And the Rio Grande Wild Turkey? Well, they're continuing to thrive too and thumbing their noses at extinction. Or, or maybe they're thumbing their waddles and snoods at extinction. And finally, what would a night on the ranch be without a visit from our old buddy, Lester? After all, who's your favorite possum? Howdy, folks. Who's your favorite possum? Lester! <laughs> yep, there's Lester right there. He's going places and looking good. And his wife, Karen, looks like she brought their daughter, Binky, out for a night on the town. Well, folks, that's about it from out here on the ranch. I'd like to thank you for just kidding. There's one more thing. Um, if you'll think back a couple of months, I brought a video to you that introduced you to my little five-year-old friend named Anna. And if you recall, Anna has got arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, which she's had all of her little life, and it's caused some malformations in her legs and her arms. Well, she got her legs all fixed up. And if you recall at our last video, she was getting ready to leave her home state and go to Florida and be there for several months to have her arms corrected too because her little biceps are almost non-existent. And they were gonna take some musculature from the trunk of her body, the latissimus dorsi muscle for the purist, and they were gonna translocate it to her biceps so that she could pick her arm up, pick her hand up so she could brush her teeth, eat with a spoon, brush her hair, all the things that you and I do every day and we take totally for granted. Well, that was the plan. However, when they got to Florida, I just wanna bring you up to date on this stuff. When they got to Florida, they did some MRIs and they saw that her latissimus dorsi muscle had not grown sufficiently, that there was just not enough of it there uh, to translocate that to her biceps. They could have tried the surgery, but it is a massive major surgery. And that's one you just don't do unless uh, the, the, the likelihood of success is great. And Dr. Feldman deemed it not, not great. So he did not want to put her through that. And it was very, very disappointing. Uh, she's been planning this for a couple of years and, and it's sad and, you know, everybody was kind of upset at first. And, you know, here's, here's her mom, you know, this, you can read it in her mom's eyes, uh, the, the sadness that we all had at first. I guess what upsets me the most about it is what? Is just that there's now zero chance of her utilizing her arm in that fashion. That's what breaks my heart. But the awesome Dr. Fellman is not a doc that's ever without a plan. So he's keeping Anna there for several months. They're gonna be doing a lot of physical therapy and occupational therapy, trying to build her muscles up and, uh, and then reevaluate her later. She may have a few little small 
uh, surgeries in the meantime, if I understand it correctly. But um, anyway, that's the plan for now. Uh, so, so what we were really disappointed with at first, you know, these things commonly happen for the best. We think it's a big disappointment and oh, it just couldn't get any worse because this is what we've been banking on for two years, two and a half years. But sometimes these things happen for the best. So we will continue to pray for this little baby and uh, this little angel and hope that uh, everything goes well with her physical therapy. But anyway, she is in Florida right now. Uh, you can subscribe to her YouTube channel. I'll link it down below and you can go give her encouraging words and you can also always keep her in prayer one other thing um, last time we donated some money to her cause you and i both and the group we donated to that time was just basically a group of um, uh, arthrogriposis uh, families and a lot of you said i would really like to donate to anna individually and you can do that and i'll tell you it, it would be a very helpful thing because she's down there her insurance like most insurance will cover about 30 physical therapy visits well anna will blow through that unless she's probably already gone through that uh, but that's maybe two months so and she's got several months from now so it's going to get financially very expensive and you have to realize these people dropped everything they were doing at their home in their home state, their jobs, their home and everything to move down here temporarily and uh, take care of Anna's needs. So not only do they have they left their jobs and all behind, uh, now they have two houses to take care of, plus all the medical expenses that insurance won't cover too. So if you are of a mind, and I would surely encourage you to, even if you just want to sacrifice one Starbucks cup of coffee and send that every little bit will help. I will include Anna's um, GoFundMe down in the uh, comment section, so, or in the, in the description. And uh, so anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you that because I knew many of y'all have asked about her on subsequent videos and I wanted to get you up to date with that. And like I said, you can always go check her YouTube channel as well. When I was getting ready to make this video, I contacted her mom just to make sure that it was okay if I put all this news on here because some of it's a little disappointing, but in the end it's all uplifting and, um, and positive and I think we got a good plan. But um, I contacted her and, and uh, she gave me her blessings to do so and she also sent me something else. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So here we go. I think you'll like this. Hi, Dr. Ray. I just wanted to say you thank you so much for sharing my story on your channel. That's so cool. <laughs> and I want to thank your followers for donating to our nonprofit Helping AMC Families. And also, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, do you want to do like a video interview with me? That would be super cool. I could ask you about like, what you do as a vet or about your ranch. And you could ask me about my condition or like what AMC stands for or about our nonprofit or some things, just anything like that. <laughs> okay, well, if you wanna do that, get a hold of my mommy. See you later. Bye. So how about that? I think she had a good plan. I think she and I'd make a darn good video together. What do you think? All righty, guys. Sorry for the lengthy video today. Thank you so much again for dropping by. You know it always means so much to me. And I just thank you for being here. God bless you all. Please leave any comment down in the comment section. Any concerns you have, just let everyone else know here. God bless you all. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And I'd like for you to always remember I love you. Bye-bye now.
Yeah, so what you doing there, huh? Neutering a dog, Dad. All right. Who's going to learn you? That's a mistake. 